Yo. All right, is this thing on? Insert lo-fi intro beat. Um, add hazy filter with text that says your name. Hey! I've got some pickups here today. Finally, another pickups video. I'm trying to make this as interesting as possible. I'm glad to be back, everyone. My name is Tommy, if you don't know who I am. We got some clothes. I've got a lot of footage today of me like vlog footage, I went to KCON, and then I went to Rose Bowl, and then I did, I forgot what else I did, but just stay tuned to the end of the video, man. It's like got a lot of stuff in store. But as for now, I've got pickups, bro. A lot of this shit I've just like picked up over the last couple of months after I've been selling a lot of my stuff. For me, I don't really like the labels that everyone gives it, you know. You could say this is wow, Shia LaBeouf core, elevated, norm core, um, whatever you wanna call it, I just call it America core. Let's start with jackets. Jackets are the most interesting. The first jacket we have here is actually a military jacket. I got it at the Rose Bowl. It's got a lot of repairs throughout, kind of cute. I don't know if war is cute. Pretty sure it's a deck jacket worn by people who were on the ships in World War II, so it's got a nice fade on it. I've had one of these jackets prior to buying this one. Designers like Helmut Lang, Margiela have taken a lot of influence from Militaria. The quality on Militaria isn't the best, but they're, they're pretty good for the time and have held up for a lot of years. Now the one thing is, is I'm not actually sure if this jacket is haunted. That's the thing about buying military. You never know the lore of who wore it before you. Maybe they're still with you, who knows. It's like a imaginary friend, you know? Except your friend has like PTSD. I wanted to talk about these shoes I got. So recently, I got these shoes like two days ago. As you can see, I already beat the f out of them because I wore them to the strokes and went mosh pitting in them. And so now they're already like crazy beat. Two days, man, two days. You ever seen this before in two days? These shoes come from a guy whose name is Eric Payne. These are his lace to toe model in suede Donald Black with a thick sole. Kind of like Rick Owens. He takes a lot of influence from like the OG, you know, van silhouette and he interprets them in like a different way, you know, sort of like Rick Owens with Ramones taking inspo from vans. But I really like the way in which Eric chose to do this. And he's worked on his shoes for quite a long time and I've always liked them, but I think he's finally gotten to a place where they really stand out on their own in terms of quality and design. He sources his materials from all around the world. I'm pretty sure the inner leather here on the inside of the shoe is from Japan and the soles are sphig soles from Italy. Um, and then he hand paints all the soles. He Everything is handmade. He hand makes everything in Portland, Oregon. I just want to emphasize that because some people may see the price of these and think that it's high. This is the best, hands down, the best quality shoe I've ever owned. I think that these truly are unique and cool. I've really fucked with like Eric's work for quite a long time, so I'm really happy to have finally been able to get a pair. I'm pretty sure it takes a day or almost to make one pair of shoes. He's trying to go direct to consumer. He has, I think, a place in London called UJNG, which is where you can go and buy his shoes. You know, I think today we see a lot of people who are making clothes and don't really care about the quality and the design process, but I feel like Eric has really taken the time to stand out from the rest of the crowd, especially with people who are making sneakers now. I think Eric actually learned from the best and has made a shoe that can compete with just about any other designer shoe. So huge shout out to Eric. And he actually gave us like an exclusive code to use, which is 15% off. And the code is B as in book 2022 LA. But that's the code, it's 15% off, which is actually a shit ton of money off of these shoes. So you can wear these on your next date with the heightened sole. Hey, well, let me see that. Hey, let me see, what are we bringing back here? This is- Hey, uh, ma hey this is Milady. New pickup. You gotta get sturdy. I'm at the- <laughs> I think I timed it with. Eric also sent me a t-shirt. It's a cotton cashmere blend. This is the size large. It's like slightly opaque. Made in the USA. So I wanted to show this off too, but it fits really nice. You can see the material better like this. So yeah, this is his t-shirt. He makes clothes too, so go check it out. So my roommate gave me the backpack from his brand. His brand is called Skinhead. And this is the castle backpack. It's made of like a polar fleece. I just wanted to highlight it because it's a pretty cool backpack. One time the mailman came and I opened the door and they said order for skinhead. I didn't know, I really just didn't know what to say. It's a cool backpack. It's the, ca it's the it's castle backpack. My shoes are, this is in complete, this is a disaster, man. This is a complete disarray. I apologize. 
but it's time for shoes. So I've gotten a lot of new shoes. Not a lot, okay? That's an exaggeration. But I've gotten some new shoes. That is true. And I thought that I should show you guys. So the first pair is this cute little horseshoes. These are the Onikatsu Tiger Tabbies. Onikatsu is sort of like a sub-label of Asics, I believe. It's a Japanese brand, very soy jack. But yeah, I don't know if Tabbies are some sort of pretentious flex, but I, I think it's unique. You know, I like the looks I get when I wear them. Sort of like a bit of a shock factor, camel toe shoe. But these are cute, man. I love the color on these. It's purple. It's not very often anyone wears a purple. We got purple and gold. I feel like these colors were, was it Egypt? An ancient something. These colors definitely signified wealth. And so I feel very wealthy when I wear these. I got my girlfriend a pair of these in like a yellow. And those are definitely way cuter than these, like a yellow and a green. But these are the only ones I could find in my size. Um, it's a bit of a danger warning if you wear these in public. Got a bit of a slippery sole here, so you might be slipping around ice skating out there. But yeah, cute shoe. I love tabbies. I love tabby sneakers. Margella definitely went to Japan, saw them wearing them, and give these like a uh, 6 out of 10. The next shoe I've got here is the Vietnam boot. Don't know the name of it. Don't ask me for the name of it. But this is the Vietnam boot, and it's very destroyed, falling apart. But the sole's still intact. These also are a bit of a danger to wear. But these are pretty cool, man. These these make me look a bit uh, edgy, whatever. I do really enjoy the wear on these, and I think that they would be very good for styling if I ever chose to style something, which I might get into at some point. But I like these. They fit me. And they have very nice wear on them and, like, patina and look very used and lovely. So here's the other one. Here are the two boots. Kissing. I also went to the Rose Bowl and picked up these. Also reminded me sort of like of a Margella boot. I'm not sure what they did. Maybe they had like a shoe dye and only painted the bottom. As you can kind of see like the brush strokes right there. They are Chippewa USA boots. I, I like how you can kind of, you know, the pant will go over and you only see the black of the shoe. And maybe sometimes you'll see a bit of this, but pretty unique. I lowballed the guy. He said 20. I asked him for 15 and he looked at me like I was insane. But I guess who has the boots now and guess who made a deal. So yeah, these are these are pretty unique. I don't know if I'll, I'll wear them too often. I don't really have a pant that goes with them. I really need some darker pants. And I want to show off the Eric Paynes again. Hello. Ring, ring. Sneaker of the year award. A bit of gum on the sole. Oopsie. Yeah, six shoe. Love this. Love this silhouette. Um, awesome. This next pickup is just a random jean jacket. I don't even know what the tag says. It says like Ruth Douglas, New York. I hate the inside. I absolutely hate this newspaper design. It reminds me of like shitty school DIY project. The jacket fits. Pretty well. It's got a very seven, I think it's like what 70s fit. Kind of reminded me of like Margella DIY stuff. So that's why I picked it up. I just liked how the denim was a bunch of sort of different fades and colors. And it kind of looks like a patchwork bomber denim coat. This is a Martith Francois Bode. This is a super uh, oversized like leather jacket. I think the leather is really good quality. Um, but I'm a big fan of this piece. But honestly, man, I feel like it fits me way too big. It adds to everyone in the comments being like, yo, that man is not 6'1", that man is 5'6". The leather is insane. The tags are insane. Um, super cool jacket, man. It's the, the brand too is like a, it's a wife and her husband. Let's get into the next pickup. I got this John Deere hat. It does not fit my head. My head is absolutely ginormous. I used to mow the lawn with the John Deere back in the day. I also got two belts. We got this like wise Yoji belt. When you like to play dress up, you can get a nice belt, put a nice belt on. I also have this little John Paul Gaultier belt with these little accents, these little metal accents that just say Junior Gaultier. It's a pretty standard like black leather belt. I wear it all the time. So I wanted to show off this belt too. These are waxed 517s with like a natural 36 inseam. So they're a bit long on me, but they stack really cool. Talked about these mm, maybe like six months ago on my channel. I have some like lighter wash, but these are wax. And 517s, they flare a little bit at the bottom, almost straight leg, really nice fit and waxed jeans, um, opium. So yeah, the 517s in the waxed colorway, 
I got this long sleeve. I just thrifted it. I don't know. It's just some random brand, but it, it's, I think it's women's. I like to wear it with the, like these sh shorts, these like jersey shorts that are also kind of slimmer. And I like to wear this on walks or uh... as for the rest of the pickups, I have this uh, vintage heavyweight Lee crew neck. What I wanted to do is like cut this graphic out and put it on the front. It's just a standard fit, you know, boyfriend crew neck. You know, when girls on Depop are like boyfriend core, like boyfriend crew neck, same vibe. It's a, it's really cool, Dernstein. I went to Second Street and I found this like old Deanna era Margella knit. And this knit has a, like a pretty interesting fit. It's sort of like those old like navy boat crew necks. So the shoulders I think are wider than the pit. I've got the Levi's, these are the 569 student fit. They have a crazy heel bite on the back, which does allow them to puddle, but they're they're just like a standard loose straight fit and good pair of blue jeans. I don't ever wear this piece. My friend found it in a barn. It's been repaired down the sides. Also I have this ping pong jersey from this like ping pong club here in LA. It's called Little Tokyo Table Tennis. Kind of cute. So I got this t-shirt. This is a Remy Relief t-shirt, which is like a Japanese brand. I actually got this like two years ago, but I forgot about it. And then I found it again in one of my bins. This tee just says now, but it's super faded and lovely color. The only thing is it's like the fade makes it look like there's these crazy pit stains. These are probably my most worn pants right now. These are Anchor Blue jeans. Anchor Blue, I think is like a skater brand from the 2000s, 2010s. I got these at the Rose Bowl for like 20 bucks. I think they used to be like an indigo and whoever you know had them, loved them and wore them until the indigo faded into this like muted indigo. I usually pair it with this JPG belt. These are a pair of Levi's engineer jeans, which was like a line they did in the 2000s. I like to wear these when I go hiking. It's really sturdy cotton and they sit right above the shoe, but they got a cool zipper on the back and a pretty interesting cut. I'm heading to um, KCON, um, but I want to preface this where I never, I've never listened to no goddamn K-pop song and then I go through my sound, my Spotify. I've never listened to no, I got a ticket for free. So I'm gonna experience K-pop culture. Never done that before. It's, it's destroyed lonely. <laughs>
You got a free Venmo shirt. Venmo shirt, come on, birthday. <laughs> tap in. I like, okay, close, tap in. I, I clicked on it. Well, I just saw it said tap in, and it's like a photo of destroyed lump. <laughs> I make clothes. This is nothing. Hey, it's about to be something. It's, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even follow me. You just said tap in. That's bro. Good morning, everyone. It's like 6 a.m. I have a tracker on you. What's up? Okay, everyone. Yep. This is fucking my crib. It's disgusting in here. Head check. The New Balance 990 V4s. Patagonia baggies. Bought them brand new from the store. Fuck with me. ASU reverse weave. It's got the nostalgia sweatshirt on. Oh, the shit, the nostalgia tee too. We got the Tom Ford sunglasses I sent a stupid logo on eBay and I didn't know that they looked like this, but they were really cheap, so. I welcome you into my home. You call it disgusting. Dude, it is disgusting. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> Before you judge him, try hard to love him. I didn't really feel anything buying them, but I wanted them for a long time. And it was a good price. They're reversible too. Where do you where do you Fuck. Bro, your ass is gonna look fat in those. You make your ass look fat. You look so sexy. Well like the I'm wearing a stupid pink shirt right now. Fuck them in them. So that was the Rose Bowl. We just finished off at the vintage market, the greatest vintage market on earth. I got a shirt that has a gun on it. That's not appropriate for YouTube camera. I got some boots. You know what, ladies, if you like a man in uniform, hit me up. I can't wait for winter so I can start dressing. Can't wait till I start layering pieces. Anyways, thank you for making it to the end of the video. <sighs> My eyes are crazy bloodshot. It's 12 in the morning. I've been editing this video since like probably like 8 a.m. this morning. But yeah, I've been grinding. And yeah, new uh, new clothes on the way, new content on the way. Follow my Instagram, do what you gotta do. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, week, whatever. Um, God bless you all. And this is another Tommy video. I'm out, I'm out, I'm going to bed, sleepy time. Good night.